Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and I want to give you a free sales funnel. Now, this sales funnel is specifically designed for e commerce based businesses, so physical products businesses, whether you sell on Amazon or maybe you have a Shopify store or some other e commerce platform. This sales funnel is specifically designed for you, and in this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of it and just a little demonstration and tell you how to get it. So let's get into it. So right here is the basic structure of the funnel and I've written a long blog post about the strategy behind it. I'll include a link down below this video so you can go check it out and that way you get a full understanding of how to go about implementing it and adding it to your business. So I'm not gonna cover much of the strategy in this video. Instead, I'm just gonna basically show you the funnel and if you want it and you want more information, it's available to you. Just look below, I have links included so you can go to it. So this is a general flow. You have a free plus shipping offer. So you give away a product for free. The customer just pays for the shipping and handling. Then we go into OTO number one, which is one time offer number one or an upsell. So then you try and sell them something that complements the free plus shipping offer here. If they say yes, they receive OTO number two. So one time offer number two. So another exclusive offer is presented to them. Hopefully they buy it. Whether they buy it or not, they come to the order confirmation page and they're through your sales funnel. Now coming back here to OTO number one, if they don't buy it right away, we meet them or greet them with a downsell. So maybe you add a bonus to OTO number one, maybe you decrease the price a little bit, maybe you offer a payment plan, something along those lines to try and like sweeten the deal a little bit more so that way they will take OTO number one. And whether they buy it, yes or no, they'll still see OTO number two and they'll go on throughout the funnel. So this is the basic flow of this e-commerce specific sales funnel. So let's take a little tour and see what it looks like. So here I am on the free plus shipping page and you see right here, free mug, get the crazy mug for free. Here's a picture of the product, a little checkout form, and I'll come back to it in just a minute. A little bit of information about the crazy mug and I shot a video well I didn't actually shoot a video this is just a placeholder video but you get the idea you shoot a video of your product demonstrating its features and benefits and advantages and maybe give some testimonials all that good stuff if they click send me the free mug it brings them back up to the order form and then what this mug's all about you list out all the awesome features and benefits and then what people are saying about the crazy mug on Amazon or just reviews in general whether those are video reviews or text reviews or testimonials or screenshots from Facebook or whatever just right here just to you know sell that free plus shipping offer just a little more even though you're giving it away for free it, you still have to sell the shipping aspect of it so it still needs to be a worthwhile product and something somebody wants so that that's something to take into account this isn't like the opportunity to offload a bunch of crap that you don't want like if people don't want it even if it's free plus shipping uh, you you can't give it away so keep that in mind this isn't just to offload crap you don't want so let's come back up to the order form here and I'm gonna fill it out real quick Okay, so I filled out the order form and I have something I wanna point out to you. So what's neat about this form right here is that it is two-step. So if somebody comes through here and fills out this shipping information and they click go to next step, clicking that button transmits their contact information, their shipping information to your autoresponder platform or to the ClickFunnels backend or wherever you really wanna send it. And so you'll still collect their contact information even if they don't go through this billing step. So that's really powerful. It's basically acts as like a card abandonment feature. So you could re-engage with them via email. You could send them actual physical mail because you have their shipping details at this point in time. So what could be like a, a baller move is if they don't go through and pay for the billing, you ship it to them anyway. Uh, that's probably like a little stealth maneuver, never tested it, but I mean, imagine you don't pay for something, but it arrives anyway. They're gonna be indebted to you for quite a while, I would imagine, but I, I never tried it. I don't know if it works, but just an idea that popped in my head as I was shooting this video. So we have their contact information already, and you could also request request their phone number here too, so you could call them. I don't have that feature turned on on this particular example, but it is available. So you still can collect their contact information even if they don't buy, but let's assume that they do buy. So let's plug in that information real quick. And then you see this opportunity down here. This is called an order bump or an offer bump, and it essentially is a little checkbox with a one-time offer. And if they tick it, it adds another product or service potentially to their order. And this is just another great way to increase your cart order size. And what happens to be working really well for some reason is asking people to double or triple their order. So 
Instead of getting one crazy mug, they can get two crazy mugs for free and they just cover shipping and handling. And yeah, that's just, for some reason that's working really well as an order bump in my experience. So there are definitely different strategies to try there. And again, check out the blog post for more information, but that I just want to point that out real quick. Let's complete the order. And here's OTO number one page. So your order is not complete. A little video, it's trying to sell OTO number one, a little countdown timer for some scarcity added in. List out the awesome features and benefits and all that good stuff. And then the opportunity to say, yes, I want it all or no thanks, I hate super awesome deals. And I'm gonna say, no thanks, I hate super awesome deals because I wanna show you the downsell page. But this is just what the page generally looks like for the OTO. So that way you see it. Again, go to the blog post for more information on strategy behind it. So I'm just gonna show it to you and give you the no, which is the downsell. So then we see the downsell page and this is where we have the opportunity to try and sell OTO number one again, or add some bonuses, or maybe even just sell a whole different product, who knows? Maybe they didn't want version A or model A of the product, but model B or version B of the product they might want, who knows? It's worth figuring out and testing, but this is what the downsell page looks like. So they have the opportunity to say yes or no. Of course they'll say yes because for my particular example, I cut the price down 10 bucks, so yeah, why not? So yes, I want it. And we'll move on to OTO number two. So this is what OTO number two page looks like. We got the last step, video sales letter, some awesome benefits and features of what they're about to see in this video. And then yes, I wanna to subscribe to your monthly coffee service. So the yes button and the no, no button, of course they wanna subscribe, so hit yes. And it'll bring me to the order confirmation page. And here they have a listing of what they just purchased. Mine's a little crowded because I've gone through this funnel several times to test it out. But you see right here I have what I just came through and purchased. So this is how this sales funnel is laid out and how it looks and how it functions. And again, go to the blog post for the strategy behind it all. And there's also a little bonus. I'll show you how to get my ClickFunnels course for free, but you also get the sale, this sales funnel's free as well. So just, yeah, go ahead, grab it and implement it and let me know how it works for you and your business.